would not like to have the continuity of the brain. <laughs> ah, I'm talking about the feeling, of course, <coughs> not in terms of expression. Yeah. In, yeah. So this clarification is required. That I am talking about the feeling of respect okay, and not the expression of respect. Okay. Okay. This expression of respect may be time to time. But you want to ensure this feeling of respect with continuity. So, yeah, I am talking about the feeling. Uh, in this continuity aspect, uh, I am just thinking through. So, I feel that when uh, I would uh, feel for respect when I am with my family, for my family. Mm -hmm. Similarly, even on the physical aspect, physical facilities part also, I would feel the need of the car when I am uh, on the journey or when I am traveling somewhere. Mm -hmm. As soon as the, the car's road stops, when I am away and I don't need to travel, I may not feel the need for the car. Mm -hmm. Similarly, uh, when I am away from my uh, family, I may, I don't know, I mean, I feel that I don't, I will not feel the need of respect. Uh, they are away. Uh, I don't know, then I find some discontinuity there, especially on respect. You see, when you, when, even when you are away from your family, okay, what is your expectation? That your children, your wife, you know, all these people have a feeling of respect for you? Or you don't mind whether they have feeling of respect or not. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you look from that angle, then I think that even the feeling of uh, uh, wanting a car is still continuing. Because I may feel that now, just now I don't need a car. So I may feel that I don't need a car. But I still have in me that when I go back, I need that car. So I still maintain it with me. So this continuity is also still there in me uh, when it comes to this process. I don't know. I don't know how to distinguish between the two. Yeah. What I am saying is that <coughs> this food or the car, you want to have this car make use of it as and when it is necessary. Mm -hmm or you want it in continuity? This is one question I am asking. The other question I am asking is that when it comes to feeling, you want to ensure the continuity in feeling or you want to have it temporarily? That is a simple question to ask. <laughs> So here, the expression of the feeling may be, you know, temporary, for example, and it will be temporary because you are making use of the body in the process. So when I see you and I say hello, this saying hello is a very temporary activity. But that conveys to you that I continue to have a feeling of respect for you. If for some reason I don't say hello to you when we meet in the morning on our way you know, walking, what happens? When your whole day is fine, you keep thinking what happened, why didn't he wish me? <laughs> he that he has no more respect for me. So this expression is temporary, but the feeling, you know, that expression is conveying you the feeling. There you want continuity in the feeling. So if he has not said hello to you, your whole day is wasted because you think that now he no more has a you know, feeling of respect for me. And in the evening you realize when you meet him again and ask him why did he wish him, he would say, I didn't even see you, I was busy, you know. <laughs> occupied by something else, so I couldn't even see you.
then you feel very relaxed. So it still continues to happen in English. So there, you want continuity. If there is any break in the continuity, you feel trouble. On the other end here, you don't want continuity. If continuity is maintained, it will become intolerable. So that is the difference. That at one level, the level of physical security, you want temporality. If you try to make it continuous, it will become troublesome for you. At the level of feeling, at the level of happiness, you want continuity of it. If the continuity is broken, you are in trouble. So I find, you know, that example we keep taking, one kilo got a SMS saying, there is a person like you who is doing so great things and who is serving people and so many things, you know, eight, ten things he wrote, they are so great and this and that. Then at the end he wrote, and there is a person like me who is telling lie after lie. <laughs> 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 now, what is the problem? <laughs> the problem is that all that respect, you know, which was built in the first eight sentences, right, is suddenly quenched. <laughs> the whole interpretation has changed. You want that kind of discontinuity? <laughs> <coughs> so that is the difference. Similarly from your side, when you are trying to ensure feeling, right, you want to ensure it this, you know, with continuity for others. When it comes to physical facility, I will make it available to him as and when he requires. So here I will have to do it temporarily, here I will have to do it with continuity. So this is one difference you know, that we can see. The other important difference is that when you talk about the food, it is quantitative in nature and it is required in a limited quantity. What do you think? You will eat food in a limited quantity, unlimited quantity. Anybody who can eat food in unlimited quantity. <laughs> so you can talk about the need of the food, right? Half kg of food, one kg of food, and so on. Right? But when you talk about respect, about happiness, right? You cannot talk about the quantity. Quantity. It is basically qualitative in nature. in the form of feeling. So you cannot talk about half kg of respect. <laughs> Either the feeling of respect is there or it is not there. So it is in the form of feeling. It is qualitative in nature. And if you try to fulfill this, you can see What you require to ensure <coughs> happiness, ensure respect, is right understanding and right feeling. Mm -hmm. And what is required to ensure the fulfillment of this is some physiochemical things. very interesting to understand that if the need of happiness, the need for respect is to be fulfilled, what is required is the right understanding and right feeling. Okay. 
if the need of the food is to be ensured, you need some physiochemical things. Let's see what is the meaning of it. For you, the respect is required. Food is required. Both are required or you can do away with any one of them. Both are required. So if you go to somebody's house, right? He gives you a lot of respect. You know, he welcomes you and all. <laughs> and gives you no food. <laughs> One or two days you can still spend. No? <laughs> but ultimately the food will be required. On the other hand, if he gives you a lot of food, no respect. <coughs> Will it work? So he makes very good food, you know, serves it, right? But while giving, he just gives it push, le khale. <laughs> you know, just push it towards you. Eat it. Do you prefer to eat or not? <laughs> what is it? Do you prefer to eat it or you will not prefer to eat it? Yeah. So you will eat it with bad people. So that is it. For you both are required, right? This is required. Respect is required. Food is also required. If I give you food and not respect, you will be in trouble. If I give lot of respect, no food, you will be in trouble. Okay. So, this right feeling and right understanding is also required. And physiochemical things are also required. This cannot ensure this. This cannot ensure this. I would prefer the second one, because the second one, I would say, although, although, uh, Honor is uh, harsh. He's kind of it. People are harsh in nature, but very kind. Yeah, this kind hearted is a feeling, right? This kind heartedness is some feeling which is being conveyed to you. <laughs> <laughs> Very interesting, you know, all these things, the moment you have all this at the background, now you can study yourself, study your behavior, behavior of other human beings, right? All that can be seen. And as a human being, this part is essential for you. This part is also essential for you. Right? And human being is coexistence of this and this, therefore, this has to be ensured. This has to be ensured. What do you think? Both of them have to be ensured? Or you can do one with any one of them? This? <coughs> this block on the right side So this is the block, the left block. This is the right block. Okay. And the human being is coexistence of this as well as this. Now you ask yourself whether this is necessary for you or not. This is necessary for you or not. And you need to ensure both this block yes. or you can do away with any one of them. Fine. Now, are you taking care of both or you are largely focusing on this? So you can see that, you know, what we have discussed yesterday, living only with physical facility and thinking that if I have this, this will be taken care of. 
is what I am calling as living as its animal consciousness. <laughs> For human beings, this is important, this is also important. I have to ensure this, I also have to ensure this. I have to ensure the fulfillment of both. <clears throat> that was the meaning when we said, right understanding and right feeling required for the self, physical facility required for the body. Right? So this is what is reiterated here. Or if you understand this, you can reconstruct this, what we have discussed yesterday. Well, I understand that we need to get it from somebody outside, okay, then you are not sure of it, whether the continuity will ever be maintained or not maintained. Right? But in terms of your expectation, what is your expectation? To be in relationship, right? to have the feeling of respect in relationship with continuity or with discontinuity. So, I am first talking in terms of the expectation, right? Then we will also talk in terms of the fulfillment. Okay. So, if one talks about it in terms of the fulfillment, one would realize that I can ensure this in myself. Okay. What is that? Right understanding and right feeling. So, when it comes to ensuring this or fulfillment of this expectation, I can start doing it with myself first. If I have this in myself, and which I can ensure, then I will also have this feeling for others. So the ensuring process would be to begin with oneself. This I have studied, you know, the existing situation, right? In terms of the expectation. So unfortunately what is happening is that your expectation is to ensure continuity of respect from others, but are we doing it ourselves? If you just turn it around, then you would realize that while you are seeking respect, right, with continuity, are we having feeling of respect continuously? No. So where do we begin? We begin with ourselves. We begin right, with right understanding and right feeling in oneself, then share it with others. So if this is required, I have to make the beginning. Okay. If I am doing it, I am not independent, now dependent on others. This right understanding is something which becomes a property of my own, right? Something, you know, this right feeling will become a right, you know, it will become a property of my own. I am not dependent on the other, but when I have this, I certainly share with others. So then the whole situation will change. What is happening today is, everybody is seeking respect, right? But nobody seems to have the feeling of respect. As a result, everybody is begging for respect, and everybody's bowel is, open, you know, empty. <laughs> तो सभी भीख मांगे की तरह हो गए हैं ना दूसरे से भीख मांग रहे हैं सम्मान की और अपना कटोरा खाली है but if we understand it correctly what will happen I will have the right understanding and right feeling I will have feeling of respect for everyone because I have the feeling of respect I will be willing to share with everyone so there is respect you know feeling of respect in me which I am willing to share with everyone on the other hand, I know that if it does not have the right understanding, the other person will not have the feeling of respect. Therefore, I am not seeking respect from him. But I am certainly having the respect, you know, 
feeling of respect for everyone. Therefore, I am having the feeling and I am willing to share. On the other hand, I am not dependent on the feeling from him because I know if he does not have the understanding, he will not have the right feeling. So, that way, I am not dependent on the other, okay, seeking this feeling of respect. But certainly, I am having this feeling of respect and I am willing to share this respect with everyone, you know, around me. So, that is where it will end up, if I go in this right direction. But what I did, you know, to begin with, is that if you look at any one of us, we are looking for food, we are also looking for respect. And the contrast difference between these two is this is required temporarily and this is required continuously. This difference is important to understand because what we tend to do, we try to full, you know, ensure this part on the basis of this. What you are doing, you are trying to get respect from car. Right? You are getting respect on the basis of your clothes. Right? This is temporary in nature, this is continuous in nature. So this cannot be used for ensuring this, this continuity. That is one contrast which has to be understood very clearly. Right? However hard you try here and how much you accumulate here, this will not necessarily lead to the fulfillment of this. For example, I just took, you know, you go with an exclusive dress to a party, right? If you go to a party with an exclusive dress, you go with the expectation that you will get respect. What do we get? Respect or feeling of jealousy? So what you are doing, you did it with the feeling of, you know, getting respect. What you end up doing is the creating feeling of jealousy. So lot of people are disturbed. Next time they come with exclusive dress, and you get disturbed, right? <laughs> <laughs> and, and you go on multiplying this, right? And that is what is happening. <laughs> yeah, so look at this. Yeah, there is one Uh, as a student, I was meant to be a mi mystic. That's my right, our natural aspirant. Uh, right in front of us, we can see the different, two different colors of this of blood. But with a natural aspirant that both are white. On that too, we have again one that is the uh, color of two black. That is also white. Uh, so. So our Guruji is in third boat. Uh, I'm still in the first boat itself. Uh, that's in right understanding, relationship, and physical facility. Uh, along with my busy academic schedule, I could not give more time, but uh, yeah. this cannot make me that much clear. That, uh, how can I uh, transform myself into the human consciousness because I cannot deny myself being in the animal consciousness also because uh, physical facility is necessary uh, for my body which is ultimately necessary to myself because I cannot say that I'm happy myself is happy without food in my stomach thank you yeah so you see if you look at this bigger circle it includes this smaller circle. It does not exclude it. <laughs> you are not saying don't have physical facility. We are saying if you have to live like a human being, we have to live in this bigger circle which also includes the smaller circle. So certainly physical facility is required. But only physical facility is not enough. And that is what we are trying to explain. This right side is ensuring physical facility. This left side 
is ensuring right understanding and right feeling. Okay. For human being, this is required and this is required. Both are required. We are not saying only this will do. We are also not saying only this will do. Right? For human being, the human being which is coexistence of self, I and the body, this part is important, this part is also important. Therefore, we have to ensure both. We are not undermining the importance of this. Right? And we are saying you cannot undermine the importance of this also. What we are doing in the modern civilization is we are trying to work on this with the assumption that if this is taken care of, this will be taken care of. Which is not happening. Right? By having physical facility, you cannot ensure continuity of happiness. You cannot ensure continuity of respect. Right? And if you try doing this, okay, you get into trouble right here. Right? Like when you try to get respect from clothes, okay, your need for clothes seems to be undefined. Right? Unlimited. And that is why you are going on accumulating so many pairs of clothes which you don't even need, right? So when you can see this and this both <coughs> separately and you realize that this is required, this is required, therefore both of them are required and I must need to fulfill both of them, right? Then only the fulfillment of human being can take place, not either left or right. One side it will not do. You have to have the both sides, right? This and this. And what you are doing today? What do you think? You are taking care of both or you are largely focusing on the right side? With the assumption that the left will be taken care of automatically. What do you think? Uh, actually, uh, I was focused mainly on that right side body, but I think uh, in order to maintain myself, body is necessary for me. Yeah, so I'm not saying that omit this. <laughs> Keep it intact, okay? Keep this body and the physical facility required for the body, all that is required. But is that enough? Or the right side is also required? Think about it. Yes. Okay. I think we'll break for the bank at 11:30 and continue with the discussion. Take your question. Why is small? <laughs>